Title, Shadows of Silk. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the bedroom of Mark's small apartment. He stood before the full-length mirror, his reflection a mix of excitement and nervousness. Tonight was the night he had been planning for weeks, a night to explore a side of himself he had kept hidden for so long. Mark, a successful lawyer in his mid-thirties, had always felt a pull towards women's clothing. It wasn't something he could explain, but the feel of silk against his skin, the swish of a skirt, had always intrigued him. He had never dared to explore this side of himself, not even with his ex-wife Sarah, who had left him a year ago, citing his lack of emotional depth as one of the reasons. As he carefully selected the outfit for the evening, a simple yet elegant black dress, a pair of matching heels, and a strand of pearls, he felt a sense of liberation wash over him. For once, he was going to indulge in his desires without fear of judgment. The soft fabric of the dress glided over his skin as he slipped it on, the sensations sending a shiver down his spine. He applied a light touch of makeup, enhancing his features just enough to feel feminine, but not enough to look like someone else. The final touch was a blonde wig, completing the transformation. Standing before the mirror, Mark hardly recognized himself. The woman staring back at him was a stranger, yet familiar, a version of himself he had kept hidden for so long. He felt a surge of confidence, a feeling he rarely experienced in his day-to-day -day life. He spent the evening lost in a world of his own creation, dancing to music, sipping wine, and reveling in the freedom of being himself. For the first time in a long time, he felt truly alive, unburdened by expectations or obligations. As the night drew to a close, Mark reluctantly removed the dress, the heels, and the makeup, returning to his mundane existence. But something had changed within him. He had tasted freedom, and he knew that he could never go back to living in the shadows. The next morning, as the sun rose on a new day, Mark made a decision. He would no longer hide who he was. He would embrace his desires, his true self, and live life on his own terms. And with that thought, he stepped out into the world, a new man, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. After hours of experimenting with different outfits and admiring his reflection, Ethan feels a surge of boldness. With his ex-wife away and the house to himself, he decides to explore an aspect of his identity that has always lingered in the back of his mind but never fully expressed. Logging onto his computer, he finds a T4M chat room, a space where transgender women and men looking for men gather to chat and connect. Ethan, though not transgender, feels this might be a place where he can express his current persona without judgment. Choosing the username Ella underscore Knight, Ethan dives into conversations. Initially, he feels out of place, but the chat room's anonymity provides him with a protective veil. He stumbles upon a conversation with Adrian, whose kindness and understanding make Ethan feel more comfortable. Adrian, intrigued by Ella's situation, engages her in deep conversations, making Ethan feel seen and heard in ways he hasn't before. Their conversation shifts from general chat to more personal topics. Adrian shares his experiences and insights about gender and sexuality, which resonate with Ethan. The anonymity of the chat allows Ethan to express thoughts and feelings he's suppressed for years. As the night grows deeper, their conversation takes a turn towards flirtation. Ethan finds himself both nervous and excited. His heart races as Adrian compliments his intelligence and openness. Ethan, fueled by a mix of adrenaline and curiosity, reveals more about his cross-dressing. Adrian is supportive, asking questions about how the clothes make him feel, and sharing his own experiences with gender fluidity. This exchange deepens Ethan's arousal and curiosity about exploring physical intimacy with a man, something he had never considered deeply before. Encouraged by Adrian's open-mindedness, Ethan confesses that he's feeling aroused by their conversation. Adrian, sensitive to Ethan's vulnerability, assures him that exploring these feelings is healthy and nothing to be ashamed of. They discuss boundaries and desires, with Adrian guiding Ethan through understanding his feelings and what they might mean. As the dawn approaches, they agree to keep the conversation going and possibly meet in the future if Ethan feels ready. Adrian sends Ethan a gentle goodnight message, 
leaving him feeling a mix of exhilaration and confusion about his identity and desires. Ethan sits back, the screen's glow fading as he reflects on the night. He realizes that this evening has been about more than just dressing up. It's been a profound exploration of his hidden self. While the path ahead seems daunting, Ethan feels a newfound confidence to explore these aspects of his identity more openly, wondering what future conversations with Adrian might lead to. Feeling aroused and wanting more than just online interaction, John decided to visit a nearby gay club, despite his nervousness. He had spent enough evenings alone in front of the screen, dressed in women's clothes that felt more like his skin than his everyday male attire. Tonight, he wanted to step out into the world, to see and be seen, and to discover what it felt like to interact with others who might understand and accept him. John chose a semi-formal, deep red dress that clung softly to his body, accentuating his figure in a way that made him feel both nervous and excited. He paired it with a light jacket for modesty and comfort, and after some deliberation, selected a pair of low-heeled shoes that would carry him through the night without pain. His makeup was minimal, just enough to enhance his features and hide his more masculine lines. With one last look in the mirror, he felt a surge of courage mixed with fear. He was ready. The drive to the club was a blur of anticipation and second-guessing. What if he was out of place? What if he encountered hostility? But as he parked his car and approached the club, the thumping beat of the music and the muffled sounds of laughter and conversation beckoned him forward, pushing his doubts to the back of his mind. The line at the club was not long, and the bouncer at the door gave him a nod and a smile as he entered, his nervousness easing slightly at the gesture of welcome. Inside, the club was a riot of lights and sounds. People danced, chatted, and laughed, the atmosphere one of unrestrained joy and freedom. John felt his heart rate pick up as he moved deeper into the club, the bass from the speakers vibrating through his body. He made his way to the bar and ordered a drink, his hands shaking slightly as he took the glass. Sipping slowly, he scanned the room, taking in the various groups of people. Everyone seemed so confident, so at home in their skin. John felt like an outsider, but he was determined to make the most of the night. As he moved away from the bar, he caught the eye of a tall, striking man with a warm smile. The man approached him, introducing himself as Marco. They struck up a conversation, initially sticking to safe topics like music and favorite drinks. Marco was easy to talk to, and soon John found himself relaxing and opening up about his love for dance music and art. Encouraged by Marco's open demeanor, John shared more about himself, his recent explorations of his identity, and his decision to come out tonight. Marco listened attentively, nodding and sharing bits of his own journey in return. The connection felt real, and John felt a warmth spreading through him that had little to do with the club's packed bodies and warm air. Marco suggested they dance, and John followed him to the dance floor. The music enveloped him, the rhythmic beats a perfect backdrop to their burgeoning connection. Dancing close to Marco, John felt a kind of exhilaration he hadn't known before. His previous nervousness transformed into excitement, the kind that made every moment feel significant, every touch electric. As the night wore on, they continued to talk between dances. Marco's kindness and the genuine interest he showed in John's experiences made John feel seen in ways he scarcely had before. They shared stories and laughter, the initial spark of attraction deepening into a mutual admiration and understanding. The club eventually began to empty as the night turned into early morning. Marco and John exchanged numbers, promising to meet again soon. As John walked back to his car, the cool night air felt refreshing against his flushed cheeks. He drove home with a smile, his heart full of new possibilities. Tonight had been about more than just stepping out. It had been a step forward in his journey, one that he now felt ready to continue with newfound confidence and hope. The soft pulsing of the club's music acts as a backdrop to the flutter of excitement and nerves that grips Michael as he steps further into the dimly lit space. His eyes, hidden behind a delicate mask of makeup, scan the room curiously, taking in the kaleidoscope of vibrant characters dancing and chatting around him. Each step he takes in his high heels is a small victory, 
a note of triumph in his symphony of self-discovery. As he edges closer to the bar, a reserved area where the lights are slightly dimmer and the music a touch softer, a man detaches himself from a nearby group and approaches him. He's tall, with a warm smile that immediately puts Michael at ease. He introduces himself as Tom. Hi, I heard from Jasper, the bartender, that it's your first time here. I just wanted to say welcome. Tom's voice is genuine, devoid of the underlying snide that Michael had feared he might encounter. Michael, momentarily taken aback by the mention of his newbie status, recovers quickly. Thank you, he replies, his voice steadier than he feels. Yes, it's all a bit new to me. Tom nods understandingly. It can be overwhelming, but this place, it's safe. It's where many of us found parts of ourselves we were afraid to look for. Can I get you a drink? Something to ease into the evening? Grateful for the kindness, Michael accepts, and they find a quiet spot at the end of the bar. As they talk, Michael finds himself opening up more than he intended. Tom listens intently, his occasional nods and thoughtful expressions encouraging Michael to reveal parts of his story. The joy and fear tangled in his decision to cross-dress, his recent divorce, and the solitude that pushed him to explore this hidden aspect of his identity. Tom shares his own journey, too. It's different, yet resonant, filled with its own trials and triumphs. He speaks of acceptance, both from within and from the few he trusts, and the peace that comes with embracing one's full self. It's about finding your balance and allowing yourself to be who you are, without apology, Tom says, his eyes reflecting the club lights, turning them into stars of solidarity. As the night unfolds, the initial awkwardness fades, replaced by a budding friendship. They spend hours talking, occasionally interrupted by the rhythmic beats that invite them to join others on the dance floor. Michael, buoyed by Tom's company, finds himself dancing freely, the layers of his usual reserve peeling away with each song. As the night draws to a close, Tom offers Michael his number. In case you ever want to talk or need someone to come with next time, it's always good to have an ally in your corner, he says his smile both an offer of friendship and a promise of support. Michael accepts, the number stored safely in his phone, a lifeline thrown amidst the waves of his new journey. As he leaves the club, the early morning air feels different, crisper, filled with the potential of what might come. His heart is lighter, steps surer, a testament to the transformative power of acceptance and newfound connections. As the night unfolded, John found himself seated at a cozy table at Café Loon, the ambient lighting casting gentle shadows around the room. The gentle murmur of conversations blended with the soft jazz playing in the background, creating a comforting bubble around him and Marcus, his unexpected companion for the evening. John sipped his wine, feeling the warmth of the dimly lit café soothing his nerves. Marcus, with his keen blue eyes and an easy smile, seemed genuinely interested in John's story, nodding encouragingly as John hesitated before his next words. You know, I'm actually married, John confessed, the words feeling heavier in the air than he had anticipated. And, well, straight. Tonight was just... It was something I needed to explore, just for me, you know. Marcus leaned back, his expression thoughtful, not a hint of judgment in his eyes. It's brave of you to step out and explore these parts of yourself, John. Everyone has their journeys, their curiosities. It doesn't make you less of who you are. It adds to it. John felt a relief wash over him. Marcus's understanding offered a new kind of freedom, a permission he hadn't realized he needed from someone else. I've always felt like there was this part of me that I had to keep hidden, especially being married. My wife... She's actually my ex now, but we're still figuring things out. Life is rarely a straight line, Marcus replied, swirling his glass before taking a sip. It's all about finding those moments of honesty with yourself. And sometimes a little cross-dressing is just another expression of that honesty. It doesn't have to define everything else about you. As they continued to talk, John found himself sharing more than he had anticipated. He spoke of his fears, his desires, and the loneliness of keeping his curiosity a secret. Marcus listened, sharing his own experiences and thoughts on identity and self-expression. The evening stretched on, the initial awkwardness giving way to a deep, meaningful exchange. 
It was enlightening for John, who had never had the opportunity to discuss these feelings so openly. Marcus's perspective was refreshing, making John realize that his journey might be uncommon, but it wasn't singular. By the time they parted ways, John felt a sense of camaraderie and acceptance. He walked back to his quiet home, the city lights twinkling like distant stars, reflecting on the night's revelations. For the first time in a long time, he felt a genuine excitement about the path he was starting to carve for himself, one where he could be all parts of himself, without fear or shame. As he reached his doorstep, John paused, looking back at the city. He felt different, changed in a subtle but profound way. Tonight was just the beginning, he realized. There was so much more to explore, so much more to understand about himself. And maybe, just maybe, that was perfectly okay. As they continued talking, the protagonist found himself becoming more at ease with the man. The initial tension melted away, replaced by a growing sense of comfort and familiarity. The man was charming and witty, with a keen intellect that matched the protagonist's own. They found themselves laughing easily, sharing stories and experiences late into the night. As the evening wore on, they moved to a quieter corner of the bar, away from the noisy crowd. The man's voice was soft, his words like a gentle caress against the protagonist's skin. With each passing moment, the attraction between them grew stronger, a magnetic pull that neither could resist. They talked about their lives, their dreams, their fears. The man was open and honest, sharing parts of himself that he had never revealed to anyone before. The protagonist listened, enraptured, feeling a deep connection forming between them. As the clock ticked past midnight, the man leaned in closer, his breath warm against the protagonist's ear. I feel like I've known you forever, he whispered, his words sending a shiver down the protagonist's spine. I've never met anyone like you before. The protagonist's heart raced as he looked into the man's eyes, seeing a reflection of his own desires and longings. Without a word, they leaned in, their lips meeting in a soft, tentative kiss. It was like a spark igniting a flame, setting their passion ablaze. They lost themselves in each other, the world around them fading into obscurity. It was a night of discovery, of exploration, of finding something unexpected and beautiful in the most unlikely of places. As the first light of dawn peeked through the curtains, the protagonist and the man lay entwined in each other's arms, their bodies spent but their hearts full. It was a night neither would ever forget, a turning point in both of their lives. And as they drifted off to sleep, the protagonist knew that no matter what the future held, he had found something truly precious, a connection that transcended time and space, a love that knew no bounds. As the music filled the room, the man and the protagonist moved together in a slow, intimate dance. The soft lighting cast a warm glow over them, highlighting the man's features as they swayed to the music. The protagonist couldn't help but notice the man's body pressed against hers, feeling his warmth and the firmness of his muscles. As they danced, the man's arousal became more evident, pressing against the fabric of his dress. At first, the protagonist was unsure how to react, feeling a mix of surprise and curiosity. She had never been in a situation like this before, and she wasn't sure if she should ignore it or acknowledge it. But as they continued to dance, the man's erection became impossible to ignore. The protagonist could feel her own heart racing, her body responding to his in a way she had never experienced before. She looked up into his eyes, and in that moment, she saw something she had never seen before a raw, unguarded desire that mirrored her own. Without thinking, she leaned in closer, her body pressing against his. She could feel the heat between them, the tension building with each passing moment. And then, in a bold move, she reached up and kissed him, a soft, tentative brush of her lips against his. The man responded eagerly, pulling her closer as their kiss deepened. In that moment, all their doubts and insecurities faded away, replaced by a burning passion that consumed them both. They lost themselves in each other, the outside world fading into the background as they gave in to their desires. When they finally broke apart, they were both breathless, 
their bodies still humming with the intensity of their connection. The man looked at the protagonist with a mix of wonder and longing, his eyes shining with unshed tears. I never knew it could be like this, he whispered, his voice filled with emotion. The protagonist smiled, her heart overflowing with happiness. Me neither, she replied, her voice barely above a whisper. And in that moment, they both knew that this was just the beginning of their story, a story of love and discovery that would change their lives forever. As the protagonist prepares for his solo cross-dressing evening, his mind is consumed with conflicting thoughts and emotions. He knows that what he is about to do could have serious consequences for his marriage, yet the desire to explore this hidden side of himself is overpowering. As he transforms himself into a woman, he feels a sense of freedom and liberation that he has never experienced before. The feeling of the soft fabric against his skin, the way the wig frames his face, and the way the makeup enhances his features all contribute to a sense of euphoria. But alongside this euphoria is a deep sense of guilt. He knows that he is betraying his wife's trust, and he struggles to reconcile his actions with his love for her. Yet, despite his guilt, he cannot deny the growing attraction he feels towards the man he met online. As the evening progresses, the protagonist's conflicting emotions reach a breaking point. He knows that he must make a choice between his marriage and his newfound desires, but the decision weighs heavily on him. Does he continue down this path of self-discovery, risking everything he has built with his wife? Or does he suppress these desires, burying them deep inside himself to maintain the stability of his marriage? As they walked to the man's place, the protagonist's heart raced with a mixture of excitement and apprehension. He had never done anything like this before, and the unfamiliarity of the situation heightened his senses. The man, sensing his nervousness, reached out and gently squeezed his hand, offering a reassuring smile that eased some of the tension. Arriving at the man's apartment, the atmosphere shifted. The space was warm and inviting, with soft lighting and a faint aroma of incense in the air. The man guided him to the living room, where they sat down on a comfortable couch facing each other. They talked for a while, the man sharing stories from his own life and experiences, which helped the protagonist relax and feel more at ease. As the conversation flowed, the man leaned in closer, his eyes locking onto the protagonists with an intensity that sent a shiver down his spine. Without a word, he reached up and gently caressed the protagonist's cheek, his touch sending a jolt of electricity through him. The protagonist hesitated for a moment, unsure of how to respond, but the desire in the man's eyes was unmistakable. With a deep breath, the protagonist leaned in, closing the distance between them as their lips met in a tentative kiss. It was soft and hesitant at first, but as they both surrendered to the moment, it deepened, becoming more passionate and urgent. The man's hands roamed over the protagonist's body, igniting a fire within him that he had never felt before. They continued to explore each other, their bodies moving in perfect harmony as they shed their inhibitions and allowed themselves to be consumed by desire. It was a night of discovery and liberation, a night where they both found solace and fulfillment in each other's arms. As the sun began to rise, casting a warm glow into the room, they lay tangled together, their breathing slowing as they savored the intimacy they had shared. The protagonist felt a sense of peace and contentment wash over him, knowing that he had taken a bold step towards embracing his true self. As he lay there, basking in the afterglow, the man turned to him and whispered, Thank you for trusting me, for allowing yourself to explore and discover. You are beautiful, inside and out. And in that moment, the protagonist knew that this was just the beginning of a journey of self-discovery and acceptance, a journey that he was excited to embark on, hand in hand with the man who had opened his eyes to a world of possibilities. As they engaged in more intimate acts, the protagonist found himself lost in the moment, a sense of freedom washing over him. He had never experienced such intense sensations before, both physically and emotionally. The other man's touch felt exhilarating, igniting a fire within him that he had never known existed. 
As they continued, their connection deepened, each touch and caress heightening the intensity of their shared experience. The protagonist felt a sense of liberation, as if he was shedding the confines of his old life and stepping into a new, more authentic version of himself. Despite the initial apprehension and guilt he had felt, the protagonist now realized that this was where he truly belonged. In the arms of another man, he found acceptance, understanding, and a love that transcended societal norms and expectations. As they lay there, spent but content, the protagonist knew that this was just the beginning of his journey of self-discovery. He had finally embraced who he truly was, and he was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, knowing that he was no longer alone. After the encounter, the protagonist finds himself in a whirlwind of emotions and thoughts. He retreats to his own space, needing time to process everything that has happened. As he sits in solitude, memories of the night flood his mind. He recalls the nervous excitement he felt as he agreed to go with the man to his place, the thrill of stepping into the unknown. The intimacy they shared was unlike anything he had experienced before. It was a moment of pure connection, a feeling of being truly seen and accepted for who he is. But along with the euphoria comes a wave of doubt and guilt. Society has ingrained in him the belief that his desires are wrong, that he should be ashamed of them. He wrestles with these conflicting feelings, questioning his own identity and what it means to be true to himself. As he reflects on his experience, he begins to realize that his desires are natural and valid. He understands that he doesn't have to conform to society's narrow definitions of masculinity and femininity. He is who he is, and that's okay. With this newfound understanding comes a sense of liberation. He feels free to explore his desires further, to embrace all aspects of himself without fear or shame. He knows that the journey ahead won't be easy, but he is determined to stay true to himself, no matter what challenges may come his way. As the protagonist continues to meet the man, their encounters become more intimate and intense. They explore different aspects of the protagonist's desires, both in terms of cross-dressing and his sexuality. The man is understanding and supportive, creating a safe space for the protagonist to fully embrace this side of himself. Each meeting brings a new level of discovery and excitement for the protagonist. He starts to feel more confident and comfortable in his own skin, shedding the doubts and insecurities that had plagued him before. The man's acceptance and encouragement fuel this transformation, making him realize that his desires are not only natural, but also beautiful. Their encounters become a blend of passion and tenderness, with the man guiding and comforting the protagonist through this journey of self-discovery. They explore different facets of their relationship, both emotional and physical, deepening their connection with each encounter. As the protagonist delves deeper into his desires, he starts to question societal norms and expectations. He realizes that true happiness lies in being true to oneself, even if it means defying conventions. This realization brings him a sense of liberation and empowerment, allowing him to embrace his identity fully. Through these experiences, the protagonist not only discovers a newfound sense of self, but also finds a deep and meaningful connection with the man who helped him on this journey. Their relationship transcends the physical, becoming a bond built on mutual respect, understanding, and love. Sarah sat at the desk in their home office, scrolling through emails on the computer. As she clicked through the inbox, a particular email caught her eye. It was from an online store, showcasing a range of women's clothing dresses, lingerie, heels, all in sizes that didn't match hers. Confusion clouded her mind. Why would Alex be receiving emails for women's clothing? Her heart pounding, Sarah clicked on the email and followed the trail to the online store's website. There, she found a wish list saved under Alex's name, filled with items that she knew were not for her. Panic set in as she realized the implications of what she was seeing. She dug deeper, opening files and folders on the computer, finding pictures of Alex dressed in women's clothing, looking happy and free in a way she had never seen before. Tears welled up in Sarah's eyes as the truth sank in. Alex was hiding a part of himself from her, a part that he had kept secret for so long. She felt a mix of emotions, betrayal, 
confusion, hurt. How could he keep something like this from her? Was their entire marriage a lie? Alex walked into the room, sensing the tension in the air. He froze as he saw Sarah staring at the computer screen, tears streaming down her face. He knew there was no turning back now. The truth was out, and he had to face the consequences of his actions. Sarah turned to him, her voice trembling with anger and sadness. What is this, Alex? Why didn't you tell me? She demanded. Alex stood there, unable to find the words to explain himself. He knew he had hurt Sarah deeply, but he also knew that he couldn't deny who he was any longer. I'm sorry, Sarah, he finally said, his voice barely above a whisper. I didn't know how to tell you. I didn't want to hurt you. Hurt me? Sarah exclaimed, her voice rising. You've been living a lie, Alex. How could you do this to me? The argument that followed was intense and emotional, both of them saying things they would later regret. Sarah couldn't understand why Alex felt the need to cross-dress, and Alex struggled to explain it to her in a way that she would accept. Eventually, Sarah made her decision. She packed a bag and left, telling Alex that she needed time to think. As the door closed behind her, Alex sank to the floor, feeling more alone than ever before. Days turned into weeks, and Sarah didn't return. Instead, she sent Alex divorce papers, citing his gender dysphoria and cross-dressing as the reasons for their marriage's breakdown. Alex signed the papers, knowing that there was no way back from this. The divorce was finalized, and Alex was left to pick up the pieces of his shattered life. He sought therapy to help him come to terms with his identity, and slowly but surely he began to rebuild his life, knowing that he could no longer deny who he truly was. After the end of his marriage, the protagonist finds himself at a crossroads. He could retreat back into the safety of conformity, or he could embrace his true self and live authentically. Despite the challenges ahead, he chooses the latter, determined to explore his identity and desires without shame. With the support of a few close friends who accept him unconditionally, the protagonist begins to fully embrace his cross-dressing and explore other aspects of his identity, he starts attending support groups for gender-diverse individuals, where he finds a sense of community and belonging he never experienced before. As he delves deeper into this journey of self-discovery, he meets new people who help him understand and celebrate his identity. He even finds a new romantic interest who appreciates him for who he truly is, leading to a fulfilling and authentic relationship. Through this process, the protagonist learns that true acceptance comes from within. He no longer seeks validation from others, but instead finds it in his own self-acceptance. Despite the challenges he faces, he emerges stronger, more confident, and more at peace with himself than ever before.